All right. Amir King Khan said that Kell Brook needs to up his game a little bit in order for him to fight him. Now, if I recall, Kell Brook was the first one that gave Sean Porter his first loss. And if I recall correctly, Amir Khan's last fight was with uh, Jerry, you know, not necessarily a competitive fight. As a matter of fact, it was a garbage fight. And the only reason why I said the Khan versus a Jerry fight was a garbage fight is because Khan was supposed to be impressive against a Jerry. He was supposed to at least knock him down. He was sort of an audition for the Mayweather sweepstake. You know, but yet Khan over here bitching about stuff, beating Pacquiao so he could get the Mayweather to come out of retirement so he can fight him. Pacquiao got, you know, no other choices but to fight Amir Khan. That's what a lot of people are saying. Amir Khan is the only one that can beat Manny Pacquiao now to retire, to retirement. I, I mean, everybody's saying shit, right? But this is what I think. With statements like that from Amir Khan saying that Brooke need to step up his game a little bit. Uh, those are just excuses, you know. If Kell Brook was a big enough pay-per-view star, it didn't matter. Amir Khan would fight him. You know, I, I think Amir Khan knows that he would lose against Mayweather. And that he would lose against Manny Pacquiao. But he doesn't care. You know. Forget all that talk about. You know. I got the speed. I got the height advantage. I got the reach advantage. Forget all that. Forget all that. Because all is bullshit anyway. Amir Khan is in it for the money. I think Amir Khan's trying to retire early. That's just my opinion. Anyway. But. All this. You know, Kelbrook is another good name. It's, you know, it'll take some time. And maybe sometime in 2016, you know, maybe he'll get to fight against me. You know, Kelbrook is fighting Diego Chavez next, you know. Who has lost three of his last five fights. I mean, constanting. Kell Brook that he needs to step up his game a little bit and fight some real, you know, tough guys. As a matter of fact, Amir Khan even said that he wishes Kell Brook all the best of luck and hopes that he keeps winning so he could actually fight him, have the reason to fight him. But if I remember correctly, Kell Brook is the one that is undefeated. He's never been down before. I mean, Connor's the one that got wobbled by a, a sorry ass and, and C level fighter, Algeri. Was knocked down a few times by Danny Garcia, whom Danny Garcia couldn't even knock down Pauli Malinaji. I mean, Prescott, whom made a Amir Khan do the crazy legs? Come on, man. Like I said, man, all this talk about Amir Khan to Kel Brook, to everybody, to Manny Pacquiao, to Mayweather, these are all just simply that. It's just bullshit. Because the truth of the matter is, Amir Khan, he doesn't really care about fighting the best. He doesn't care. He cares about the money. He cares about how much he's going to get. And like I told you guys in the beginning. I think Amir Khan's trying to retire early. You know. He can't be undefeated. And he can never be pound for pound king. As he says he's going to be if he beats Pacquiao. You know he talks a lot of crap lately. He's you know, creating a lot of commotion. And he, he's trying to make a name for himself. But... It, but it, instead, he's just pissing people off. You know what I mean? It's just, 
you know, people call him and criticizing him that he's full of shit. That's really what it boils down to, you know. It's not a, it's not a game. It's not a a mere con. It's it's none of that, you know. A mere con criticizing Kell Brook that he's about to fight Diego Chavez. In my honest opinion, Diego Chavez is probably a much solid fighter than Algeri. You know? But anyway. Americans trying to get the Pacquiao fight. Supposedly, so he can get that much close to Mayweather fight. Well, I don't know, man. I think sometimes American is way over his head when he they dream about stuff. You know, I don't know. I wasn't too impressed about the Algeri fight, and that, um, especially this new thing that he came out with. You know, after I beat Pacquiao, maybe I can get the Mayweather fight. I wouldn't fight. I don't. I wouldn't want to fight Kell Brook at the time because Kell Brook. Needs to step up his game. He's fighting a guy like Diego Chavez, who lost three of his last five fights. I'm not about to fight that guy. That's what he's pretty much saying to Kell Brook. I'm not going to fight you because you fight Diego Chavez. But in the eyes of the boxing fans, I mean, who really is ducking who? You know? I don't know, man. It's ridiculous. Amir Khan, I don't know. I hope you get that Pacquiao fight. I really do. I really want to see how Amir Khan performs against somebody like Manny Pacquiao. You know? Forget that Algeri fight. You know what I'm saying? How about we give him a clean slate? You know what I mean? Against Manny Pacquiao. You know? And see what he can do. Let's forget about that Algeri fight. You know, let's say it was it was a tune-up fight. Now he needs to work on getting that Pacquiao fight, and and see what he can do. You know, can he knock down Pacquiao? Can he knock out Pacquiao? Can he beat Pacquiao? You know, especially Pacquiao. He's old now. He's not in his prime no more. You know, Pacquiao is not. He's no stranger to losing. To get knocked out, to get knocked down. Khan should be able to do the same, right? Khan should easily knock down or knock out Manny Pacquiao. Because as he says, he's got the blueprint of how to beat Manny Pacquiao, right? He talks a lot of crap about Kell Brook, you know, Keith Thurman. You know, talks a lot of crap about uh, Pacquiao. You know, they, you know be, he talks a lot of crap, but he, you know, you ain't backing it up, you know. At least you're fighting somebody. He ain't fighting nobody solid. You know, for you to talk crap. Khan said that Brook needs to step up his game. Well, I think Kel Brook has the better right to say that to Kel, to Amir Khan. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. JF Sports.